Hey folks, Jeremy Ham from Hamtone Guitars here. I'm gonna quickly walk through uh, uh, shellac mixing method. So if you wanna learn how to French polish, uh, this is a good time. We, uh, we've got time for it right now. So I've got a, an empty Grolsch bottle. I like it because it's got this nice, nice snap lid. It seals it nicely. Got a funnel, got some shellac flakes. I ordered from uh, Wood Essence in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. And then some fresh methyl hydrate. I usually buy it at uh, at uh, uh, either a paint shop or a store like Canadian Tire here in Canada because uh, they cycle through it at a pretty regular rate. Once I bought some from a, a local hardware store in Manitou, the Mueller's uh, Hardware, and, and uh, it was kind of it was kind of like water, so it didn't actually dissolve the shellac flakes, and it's a big thing. So the trick is. To not make it too complicated. Everybody overcomplicates stuff. I'm tired of everybody overcomplicating things and making things seem more difficult than they really are. So what you want to do is take your shellac bottle, your funnel, and I'm going to fill up the bottle approximately one seventh or one eighth with my shellac flakes. That's it. I'm not going to say, oh, this is a half pound cut. This is a three quarter pound cut. I'm going to dissolve it with a little bit of walnut oil and put some mineral oils and some other things. I'm not going to do that. It's uh, bogus. Don't make it complicated. Make life simple. There we go. It's approximately one seventh, one eighth or so shellac flakes. If you find later on that it's uh, thicker than you want and it's a little stickier, it takes too long to dry, then just Take another bottle, dissolve it a little bit, you know, and I'm going to add the fresh methyl hydrate. I'm going to have the bottle so it's filled, not quite to the top, but a little bit below this uh, start of the tapered section. And I'm going to shake it, and then what I'll do is I'll leave it on my bench, and then every, uh, I don't know, every couple hours I'll go to it, and I'll pick it up. And then if there's any shellac flakes that are stuck to the bottom when I rotate it, I'll have it so those, those shellac flakes, the clumps are stuck on the top and they'll fall down. Gravity is a friend. So uh, within, uh, within a short period of time, well, 24 hours, you should have a nice bottle of dissolved shellac flakes. And uh, they will look like this. So as you can see, now it's, uh, it's nicely dissolved. So this is a bottle of shellac that's been sitting around for a little while, you know, a week or three or whatever. Um, I guess the, the shelf life of shellac is approximately six months. I usually will use it within a month or two of mixing it. I usually have one or two bottles at a time, I'll cycle through it. Uh, this one is the one that we just mixed. I say we because you helped me and uh, I can see if you look closely I don't know if it's zooming in there but it's kind of got a cloudy haze at the bottom and if I tilt it sideways there's some of the stuff that's already dissolved and and there's the, the stuff over here I don't know if you can see it but it's it's kind of getting a little gloppy glippy gloppy and uh, I'm going to put it on its side now, and I'll let it sit like that for a while. I'll come back to it in maybe an hour, and I'll, I'll give it a little shake and see what happens. So now you can see that it's actually dissolving quite nicely. It's dissolving pretty quick. There's still the flakes at the bottom. But what I'm going to do is give it a little shake. Give the shaky, 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 shake, shaky, shaky, shake. And then... We'll see. Oh, there's still some chunks there. So what I'm going to do is just put it back on the, uh, the bench there. Let's sit like that for a bit. Hopefully it won't roll around. And uh, yeah, that could even be ready in uh, a few hours. What you can do if you want, you can strain it through a cheesecloth or a coffee filter. Um, I find that most often you don't even need to do that. There are lots of fellas who have tutorials on French polishing on the interweb. At least I'm sure there are. I haven't actually looked for any. But uh, I learned how to French polish uh, through trial and error. 
which is a wonderful way of learning because if you wreck something then you have to fix it so um yeah try to if you want to do a a, a, a kitchen ca a tabletop like or, or a, a dining room table like my table at home i gotta redo it and i guess uh never a better time than now uh, the nice thing with shellac is it smells really good. It's got a nice, gentle, sweet odor. Uh, it's uh, If you lit a match to it, it's methyl hydrate. It's like setting a match into some, some Everclear or something, or vodka, or whatever. Uh, and you can use Everclear as well. It's great. But uh, the problem with Everclear is you're more inclined to drink it than methyl hydrate. So if you use methyl hydrate, you'll uh, be a more sober person. As a result, you'll also do a better job with your work. Never drink shellac mixed into Everclear. That would just make you blind and kill you. Probably clog up your heart or something bad. I'm not a doctor. I don't know those things. Just don't drink Everclear with shellac mixed in it. Don't drink shellac. Use it for finishing. It's a good idea. Um, I like to use shellac for the purpose of sealing wood. Shellac is a fantastic diplomat. So let's say you want to you wanna spray lacquer either with a waterborne or a nitrocellulose uh, finish. You can actually uh, seal the wood with shellac. It gives it a nice amber tone, and then you can scuff it up with steel wool or scotch bright pads or you know 320 grit sandpaper, get it all smooth, and then you can spray the the waterborne or the nitrocellulose lacquer over top of the shellac, and uh, it's a wonderful way of sealing it. And because it's cut with alcohol, or the shellac, shellac flakes are dissolved into alcohol, it uh, doesn't raise the grain as much as a waterborne uh, sealer does. So it's, it's a really good way of uh, sealing your project before you're finishing. And uh, hand applying with a pad, which I'm not going to demonstrate, is uh, a, maybe I will at a later date, but not right now. It, it's a great way of uh, finishing because you don't have to worry about uh, having a ventilation fan to... To clear any mist that might be in the air that you might uh, breathe in and damage your lungs with. So uh, yeah, anyway, that's my uh, quick shellac mixing video. Thanks, have a great day!